Hello! So, just want to showcase a couple of new features that are coming to Curve Basher. Note that these are not released yet, but they should be available in realistically probably three weeks. I want to say two, but I know that I have to record videos and do a bunch of stuff, so probably three weeks. So, you won't find this in Curve Basher yet. And if you don't know what Curve Basher is, I'll link a video in the comments. So, it's an add on I made, and one of the things it does is it generates wires like this in between primitives. So this is already a new feature. Before you needed to create at least three uh, primitives to use their bounding boxes to generate a curve between them. But now it automatically does that for you if you're a little bit lazy. You can change that in your preference though. So it, all, it gives you that third point so that you always have three at the very minimum so that you can you know introduce a little bit of sag to the, the generated wires. But there's a lot of cool settings. This uh, wire generator was already in uh, 1.3, but the new version has a grid option. And so this is not going to be the final layout or anything. I'm still like coding stuff. And uh, what grid does obviously is instead of randomizing the wires like this, the previous algorithm, this one gives you a little bit more um, precision. So I can, for instance, increase the count in X and uh, maybe just once in the, the vertical axis. And let's also increase our size. So it's a little bit better, more visible, I guess. So we can do stuff like this. You know, I don't really want that anymore. So it's not finished. The, the orientation of the handles still aren't done or anything, but it's gonna be pretty, pretty cool, I think. Like if you're uh, trying to create a bunch of, um, I don't know, cables for a server rack or something and this is this is just the, the curve generation of course we'll be able to kit bash it with any presets you might want later but the idea was just to uh add another algorithm to the wire generator and we can still like control all of the, the curve control points with these uh with these bounding boxes and like i said the, the handles aren't oriented correctly yet but I think it could be pretty cool. So let's just set up a different example. Let's just do this instead. And uh, run the wire generator again, set it to grid, increase our count once more, something like that. And uh, like I said, handles are still not oriented correctly, but I don't know, maybe something like that. Imagine a bunch of cables going from one rack to another or something. And uh, then replacing this with something that's a lot more interesting, of course. I always go for chains just because everyone likes chains, but but you can use any sort of um, preset. Let's go for a, a different preset. Ooh, that one's cool. This one's not bad. Now, I, I am applying a bunch of kit bash and geometry to a lot of wires. That's, so, that's why it's really, really slow. But it's not too slow. You know, it's still kind of... Uh, pleasant to use and uh, yeah that's just what I've been working on right now and like I said there's a link in the description if you want to see more about Curve Basher and uh, I will say this if you are interested in this add-on then I'd recommend getting it now before the update releases anyway thanks for watching